What's up everybody, 3D Theory here. In this video I'll show you the full process of how I made this super awesome laser blade from the Pixar movie Lightyear. We will go through 3D printing, sanding, priming, spray painting, and lastly putting all these cool decals on this super awesome laser blade. If you're interested in following along with your own laser blade, I made my 3D model that I created myself available to you for free. Just email me and mention in the subject line free laser blade 3D file and I'll send you my 3D file. Hey, by the way, if you're new here to the 3D Theory channel, we're all about 3D printers and 3D printing fun props. If you're interested in these topics, then consider subscribing and click that notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Let's get started. Hey, what's up everybody? We're here with the Lightyear Laser Blade from Pixar. Really excited to put this thing together. Everything has been 3D printed, so now we're going to put everything together. So I got these metal pins here that I'm going to be sticking into specific areas of the handle so that it all comes together and stays held together very well. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting this thing together. I had a real good time 3D modeling this, so I'm really excited to get this thing started. Let's get this going. And keep in mind that in here I created a housing specifically for a light string that's going to be going through. So that's going to be real fun to put in. All right, that goes like that. And in there is where the power supply is going to be. Okay, so we have the laser blade, like so, and there's really nothing holding it together. So this is the part where I'm going to be using the trusty drill and these metal pins to stick them through and have points of connection. I'm going to get that started. Alright guys, so there's really nothing holding this thing together. So I'm just going to put a hole right there in the middle with my trusty drill. Now I could stick that piece in there. Alright, I'll say somewhere in the middle. Okay, just to make sure this fits right. Alright, okay, well that's going to hold nicely. And I just want one more in the back over here. So I'm just gonna pop one right here. I can make it actually go through and hold this back piece as well. Maybe just a little bit more on this one. Okay. All right, I'm quite happy with that result. That stays in very nicely. All right, guys, so there you have it. We got two connection points in there that I'm very happy with. And now we can actually go ahead and start assembling and then start sanding it down. For gluing these parts in place, I got my trusty glue gun. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab these two pins here and glue it like so and glue this one the same. The glue gun is ready to go. And I'm going to do the same with this one. Just going to fill it up with some glue. That's good to go. So I can just pop that in as needed. Also pop this in as needed. All right, and we can call that connected. So when I do hot glue all the other pieces together, this will be a nice sturdy section. All right, guys, now I'm gonna get to installing the battery pack. All right, guys, here's our trusty battery pack with the light string. I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of batteries in there. I'm also gonna make sure this thing turns on. All right, that's looking good. All right, so I created this in such a way where the trigger will be able to click this button here and we'll have power. So I'm gonna stick that in like so. I also modeled it in such a way where you got little uh, dips here where I can stick the wire through and also a little hole down here for this extended part. If I'm not mistaken, I should be able to cut this thing and it should light up anywhere I please. With that being said, I don't want so much wire, but I wanna make sure I do this smart so I don't cut off too much. All right, so I got light through there. I don't know if you can see it. So my goal is to just bring it out from that hole that that's out of the hole we can determine how long we would need from this i got this piece for this wire to go through we're gonna need it to go through the laser i created i'd say about here would be plenty that will just give us some extra room and yeah this is gonna work out nicely we have a hole here for this to go through all right guys now that we have everything cut out and ready to go i'm gonna get ready for sanding and painting i got my electric sander got my sanding sponges and they're at 120 and 320. Got my trusty face mask, so I'm gonna pop that on and we're just gonna get to sanding this thing. All right, that's looking real smooth, I like that. But I'll tell you that it feels so much better working on something so simple as this, as opposed to that Green Goblin helmet. Yeah, that thing was a challenge, but now this feels really good because it's just a simpler object. Nonetheless, still really cool though. Moving on to this piece. All right, this is looking really good too. I think I gotta bust out one of these hand senders. All right, that piece is looking good. Now let's move on to this little guy here. All right, I'm gonna run over it with this 320. Next, we're gonna move on to this piece here. finished up with this piece here. I did go a little uh, heavy handed with this part here. So a little hole came about. 
So I think for that part, I'm just going to solder weld in some PLA and just mold it with my finger and that should be ready to go. And also sand it down and that should be good to go. Now this part's mostly going to be sunken into the sword, so I think I'm just going to go ahead with my finger and sand this part right here. Now comes this part here. Alright, this is looking pretty good. This part, most of it's being sunken into the sword, so I won't, I won't need to sand that down too much. And we finally reached this last part. Really looking forward to finishing this up and getting it spray painted. By the way, I got a 220 grit sandpaper on the orbital electric sander here. Now all we got left are these little tiny pieces here. Go over to this piece here, it's a little tinier, so I'm going to get a little more detail with this one. And last but not least, we got these little buttons on the side. Alright guys, I'm really happy with how all this came out so far. The next thing I'm going to do is just make sure I fix these holes here. There's a little bit of a hole here as well. I'm going to make sure I fix those up and get it going from there. Alright guys, I got my trusty soldering iron here and a little piece of filament and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this hole that you see right there right over here and I think there's another one uh, right about there I'm just gonna use this to fill it up before you get started always make sure to be wearing a p95 all right so I won't be needing too much I'm gonna give this a test here yep there you go so I just cut off a little bit there all right now that I cut off a little bit I'm just gonna warm it up and I'm just gonna stick it into that hole not that that's stuck in I'm gonna cut it off and sort of just push it in there. I'm using my finger, but you guys be very careful. I don't recommend to you use your finger. I would be much more careful. Figure out a way where you're doing it safely. And that hole is patched. There was another hole around here. Use some of this here. All right, it filled up in that gap there. And also in this gap over here. And what I'm gonna do now is just go over it with some sandpaper and it should be ready to go. All right, I trust that the remaining portion of whatever seams there are there will be covered up by the filler primer. So I'm gonna go give these a wash and then we're gonna get these primed up and ready to go. So now I got everything laid out here on the table. Um, I marked out what color everything is gonna be. I got about four different types of colors. I got chrome, I got black for the knobs. I got light gray, medium gray. Same with here, light gray, medium gray. Um, I also have dark gray. And what I intend on doing is taking these pieces out and hanging them to spray so I can get a full 360 spray. So I got this metal wire here that I'm gonna attach to these pieces so I can hang them and spray them. I'm gonna try to make these all about the same length. So I'm gonna cut a template. So each piece is gonna be fairly unique and I'm gonna have to figure out a way to make sure it hangs and stays hanging. That seems like it's gonna do its thing. With that, I have my template. I'm gonna continue cutting some wire here. All right, that works well. All right, I'm happy with that. Okay. That'll spray paint nicely. Now that these are ready to go, I'm gonna take them outside and hang them all on the piece of wood and I'll show you what that's like. All right, so what I got is my my ladder here, my 2x4, and this gazebo type of thing right over there. And I'm going to hang them all on this piece of 2x4. But first, I'm going to put in some screws all along the side there so I can wrap the wire and have them hang nicely and just dry as needed. All right, guys, I'm just going to put this evenly spaced. Okay. All right, now I'm just going to hang all the pieces side by side. All right, just like before, we're starting out with the filler primer. All right, guys, now that I sprayed all the pieces down with the filler primer, I sprayed it with two coats. I'm going to go ahead and start laying on the paint layer, and this time I'm going to skip the sanding. I'm going to see how that comes out. So I'm going to start with this one first with a chrome. And then I got pieces that are going to be spray painted dark gray, medium gray, and light gray. All right, here we go. All right, now I'm going to be using this Kirkut Joy to cut out all the decals that I had prepared for the laser blade.
Now I'm going to be using both gluing and welding techniques to put the steel together and make it solid.
All right, this is probably one of the most fun parts of the process. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put all the decals that belong on the laser blade. I went ahead and as you can see, I used a Cricut cutter to cut out all the things. I don't know if you can see all the decals. I don't know if you can see caution there, but you'll see it as we work along. There are a couple of um, decals that I couldn't do, which is this. I ended up buying this from Zazzle. And also there is an electricity symbol down at the bottom of the sword, which I also bought from Zazzle. I'm really excited for this. And I think I'm actually gonna start with this part here. This goes here and here, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure out this section here. So 10 and a half inches divided by three. So three and a half inch increments. And then 3.5 is the half, okay. I got my nice craft cutter here. So I'm just gonna line this up where I wanna cut it. All right, now I'm just gonna stick these stickers on here. All right, that's looking good so far. Now I'm gonna get that electricity high voltage symbol on. Okay, it's looking great. Now to put on the decals. So what we're gonna wanna do is just put this tape over this tape so the caution can stick to this tape and easily be applied there. Okay, so let's give that a go. And I found it helpful to use a X-Acto knife, peel away to bits. So you peel away that clear tape and you simply just put it on to your decal. Now, slowly but Surely, and very carefully, we're gonna want to peel away at this. Okay, now that we have the caution taken out of there and transferred over to the transfer tape, I can apply it now to the laser blade. Okay, we've committed. Now I'm just gonna stick that on there and slowly peel away at this. All right. That's looking great. Now we got caution written there in the middle. Hey guys, so I finished putting in all the decals on both sides. It's looking really great. It actually lights up as well. Just by the click of this red button, you can go from full on power to fast pulse, to slower pulse, to off. I'm really happy with the final result of this thing. It is looking super sweet. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. By the way, if you want to watch more videos about 3D printing fun props and 3D printers, then check out the playlist that pops up on the screen. All right, guys, till next time, peace, love, and joy.